first plenary session for the week in the House of Representatives. And the speaker is leading the lawmakers into consideration of issues for the day. NDDC is charged with the responsibility. First to be considered is a motion on the budget of the Niger Delta Development Commission. The sponsor of the motion, Representative Benjamin Kahlo, argues that the commission did not submit its 2019 budget estimates to the federal lawmakers for consideration. Invite the Honorable Minister of Niger Delta and Board of Niger Delta Development Commission or any other constituted body in charge of the affairs of NDDC to explain to the House why the Commission has been spending money which we are not appropriated and approved by the National Assembly in violation of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 has altered and the Niger Delta Commission Establishment Act No. 6 of 2000 as amended. The House and the Committee of the Whole considered the report on the Presidential Transition Bill sponsored by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila. The House adopted the recommendations, which includes a six-month jail term, 10 million naira fine, or both, for any person who frustrates the smooth transition of power in Nigeria, appointment of Administrator General, as well as the proposal of a 100 million naira budget for transition ceremony. What this bill does is to be in line with the best international best practices that allows you smooth transition from one government to the other so that you can hit the, the incoming government and hit the ground running. The House also considered the report Two. on a bill for the amendment to the proposed Three. Labor Act. The amendment seeks to ensure the compulsory registration of foreign employers of labor in Nigeria. Also sponsored by the Speaker of the House, the bill seeks to impose a fine of 500,000 naira and two years imprisonment for illegal immigrants, as well as the prohibition of the employment of illegal immigrants. As of today, if anyone is asked whether your minister or your, the, the CG immigration, how many foreign employers are in Nigeria, how many foreign employees are in Nigeria, who employs who, uh, even for purposes of taxes, uh, we have no such data or records. So this bill basically seeks uh, for the compulsory you know, to mandate the registration of all foreign employers of labor in Nigeria by the ministry and for related matters. Both bills scaled the third reading in the House. Long title of the bill.